The last speaker is Mr. Nambudiri, my pronunciation. Um, he's now a visiting professor at Deemed University, and he traveled a lot around the world, including USA, England, France, Austria, Australia, New Zealand, Sri Lanka. Uh, he's the expert at Sri Lanka dance. And he also served as visiting professor at the University of California, UCLA, and also University of Wisconsin Medicine in the United States. He is the recipient of several honors, including the recent uh, award from the President of India. His topic is about the evolution methods and the contemporary challenge in actor training. Let's welcome. Dear friends, <clears throat> It's a great privilege for me to be invited to present a paper on Kathagali at this prestigious platform. Being a practitioner in this field for the last 50 years, I would like to share my views on Kathagali, an intangible heritage of India. A demonstration of few aspects of this dance form will be a part of this presentation, which I will be doing a little bit later. Kathakali, nearly 500 years old dance drama, continues to be a vibrant tradition in Kerala, its homeland, India. It is essentially, aesthetically, a rich and highly imaginative dance form, well appreciated, recognized, and accepted worldwide, it is one among the few major classical dance drama of India. A harmonization of different forms of arts, such as painting, music, acting, dance, etc., is the aesthetic base of Kathakali. Earlier, Kathakali was known as Ramanatam because the first written text was based on Rama stories from Ramayana. Later, more stories from other epics like Mahabharata, Bhagavata, etc. were added to its repertoire. As such, a general term was found more appropriate, that is Kathakali, Katha means story, Kali refers to dance. Thus, Kathakali is a dance drama. Its literary form is called as Artakatha, which is written in a lyrical style, Shloka and Pada. Shloka is narrative, whereas Padam is a conversational, conversations of the characters in the drama. Those are set in Raga and Tala, according to the South Indian music system called Carnatic music. Nati Shastra is the oldest text on Indian dramaturgy. Probably all over the world, it will be the first written text on dramaturgy. This is supposedly composed between 2nd BC to 4 AD. A fourfold abhinaya is described for the presentation of drama. Those are vajika, which is verbal, angika is physical, sattvika, psychic, and aharya, makeup, costumes, stage properties, etc., etc. The influence of the above text is very evident in every aspect of Kathakali's presentational techniques. However, a unique characteristic of Kathakali is the elimination of Vajika from actor. The actor on the stage never speaks on Kathakali stage. They always 
interpret the uh, text through hand gestures and facial expressions. It was one of the major innovations made in its early period. This paved the way to build up a powerful body language that is capable of translating the meaning of the text along with the subtle emotions of the character. The traditional method of imparting knowledge in India is known as Gurukula. A close and dear relationship between Guru, the teacher, Shishya, the student was core of the system. The student was supposed to stay at teacher's house for the whole period of training. Kathakali too followed this system for a long, long time. However, in the beginning of the last century, due to lack of patronage, the influence of Western education, economic condition, etc., a state of decline in the Gurugula tradition set. This lead visionaries like the great poet Vallathol, Narayana Menon, and Mukunda Raja to establish Kerala Kalamandalam in 1930. Today, it is a deemed university of arts and culture where classical performing arts are taught and performed in traditional way. Those who have trained from Kalamandalam, they always use that Kalamandalam as, the, as a prefix to show that he belongs to that institution and actually I trained and I grew, I taught and my whole lifetime I spent in Kalamandala. Even now I continue to be a dean of the faculty. It is probably one of the most fundamental principles of pedagogy that the training methods related to any branch of knowledge or practice need continuous monitoring and updating in order to address the challenges of changing times, societies and situations. While this principle is certainly most applicable to modern knowledge system and practices, it is quite relevant to traditional practices and knowledge too, because even while the practices are traditional, the practitioners live and function in the here and now. In fact, it is through such a monitoring and updating that tradition renew themselves and continue to be a living traditions. In the case of Kathakali, the need for monitoring and updating becomes most crucial because of the complexity and high degree of stylization. stylization. This complexity and stylization evolved due to cumulative contributions of several generations of master practitioners. Kathakali necessitates an intensive kind of training that prepares the actor and instill in his body the deep structures of stances, movements, steps, gestures and expressions. These are the slides when I was studying some 50 years ago, I was, I am in one among them. In. <clears throat> this form, the basic language of the stylized non-realistic performance of Kathakali. A great deal of discipline, both physical and mental, is imperative and it has to be inculcated into the actor at the time of training itself and through its very modalities. A gradual process of formulating the methods of such training continued to be continued throughout the history of Kathakali and reached its peak by the early 20th century with the work of renowned Raul Nimenon, an illustrious guru. At this point, I would like to mention Raul Nimenon, the <coughs> the illustrious guru of the Kalivari school of Kathakali, the schedule formulated in the first half of the century. There were 
daily practices were divided into four sessions. The first session begins at 3 in the morning because everybody is supposed to get up in the 3 morning when we have the uh, monsoon season in Kerala where the, the most intensive training is taken place in those days. So at 3 in the morning with one, one of our eye practices which I will be going to show how is I, I try this, which is followed by basic exercises and oil massage up to 7 that is 4 years in the morning session. And the second session commences at 8.30 a.m. That is dedicated, beginners will learn preliminary lessons while others rehearse the stories. Rehearsals of stories are called Choliyatam, which ends at 11.30 a.m. That is about 3 hours. Now third session begins at 3 p.m. Rehearsals of stories up to 5.30 p.m. The fourth and the final session is devo devoted to practice and memorization of the text and the general language from 6 to 80. Thus, a total of 11 hours physical practices were in vogue during those days. Later, to cater to the changing times and to remain relevant and practical, the training sessions times were altered to accommodate formal education in the students' routines. However, overall nature of training remains same. A significant aspect of training in Kathagali is the influence of Kalaripayate, the martial art of Kerala. This played an important role in building up a culture and language of the body. Later, influences of Natashastra tradition, mainly through Kudiyatam, the only Sanskrit drama tradition that exists today, played a significant role in developing training method that infuse the actual skill of histrionic expressive acting that are capable of bringing out and presenting the different mental states, bhava, of the characters who figure in Kathakali plays. Kathakali also adheres to the Abhinaya plan. We have in India, we have so many other uh, treaties based on uh, the drama. As one other treaties is Abhinaya Darpana, which has a guideline to the actors. You follow this, finally, that will take to the audience. So that is Yato Hasta, which is a Sanskrit uh, uh, verses. Yato Hasta Tato Drishti, where the hand goes, there the eyes. Yato Drishti Tato Mana, where the eyes, there the hand. Yato Mana Tato Bhava, where the mind, there the bhava or emotions. And where the Yato Bhava Tato Rasa, where you have the bhava, there automatically there will be an aesthetic experience communicated to the audience. This is a guideline for the actors. At this point, I would like to demonstrate a few exercises from Kathakali, beginning with a eye exp exercise, how a Kathakali actor is trained with his eyes. Before we begin the eye practice, we usually apply some butter into the eyes in order to get to a kind of lubricative effect in the eyeballs.
See, supposed to be done for one hour in the early morning from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. That is a daily schedule. And uh, the demonstration I would like to give you, the nine bhavas or nine sentiments. Kathakali is a highly stylized form. It's not a realistic way of showing sentiments, but it's a highly stylized way of showing in sentiments beginning from erotic, is Shringara. Next is Hasya, sarcasm. The third one is Karuna, pathos. Next is Raudra Anger. Next, Veera the Heroic. Next, Bhaya, Fear. Next is people, sir. She is disgust. Next is wonder, Adbuddha. The ninth and the final is Serene Shanta. <clears throat> the, ne the next demonstration, I would like to do something about the hand gestures. As Kathakali, the actors never speak or they speak with their hands, and how that language is, uh, is being developed from the very root to the language, uh, to the language. <clears throat> as the language has like the alphabets, we have some 24 basic alphabets 
for I will show some of this, which doesn't make any meaning. This is just like an alphabet. One is Pataka, is Mudrakya, Kataka, Mushti, Kartari Mukha. Like that, there are 24 basic alphabets and permutations and combinations of these alphabets, we make words and sentences. Now I'll show three words. First one is <clears throat> Raja, the word Raja, king. The elephant. The lion. A beautiful lady. Like that, we have a number of vocabularies. <clears throat> and now, how a sentence is form formed. I would like to say that I am very happy to be here, and I thank you all. Of course, the order is different in our language, so I follow my uh, language, and I will explain what it is. Extremely happy to be here. All of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Nambu Diri. Not close yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the themes of Kathagali performance, performances are mainly drawn from Hindu epics only. 
there are more than 100 stories written performed in the past now only selected scene from less than 25 were performed though an experimental basis stories from greek mythology bi biblical themes and shakespearean plays like king lear have also been recently performed in kathakali in the early days kathakali performances were a part of temple festivals in kerala and were en enacted through the night from dusk to dawn today the duration has been limited to a few hours with the advent of the urban society and its interest in kathakali kathakali clubs were formed in various parts of kerala and performances were conducted on a ba uh, monthly basis which continues even today these changes in the kathakali performance prove its ability to adapt and accommodate the changing socio cultural perspectives barring the use of technology for the lights sound systems and the audio video recording of performance modern technology has had no interactions or collaboration with kathakali in july last year associate professor biju dhanabalan of adm undertook the first motion capture of kathakali under his research project prior to which he came to kerala india to record the music for the motion capture music plays a vital role in kathakali and it entails vocals as well as the musical accompaniments the musicians perform together in a close proximity with the performer it is technically challenging to record the sound in its natural environment mr vikram joklekar from dolby laboratories recorded the multi track music live a 10 minutes piece porinivili from bhagavatam was chosen and performed while the music was being recorded this performance took place at kilimangalam mana a 600 years old temple in kerala and considered the seat of kathakali the kathakali motion capture session at adm was based on this recorded music piece the chosen piece of kathakali was performed under my supervision and was motion captured by professor biju in the motion capture lab in adm ntu let's have a look This motion capture experiment has led me to believe that technology can play an important role in Kathakali pedagogy. Thi, ta, ta, ta. Now, see, wait, 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 ചവിട്ടുമ്പോസ് 
Yeah. Like that, just, uh, you know, <clears throat> I think there are a number of possibilities. You know, you see this, and uh, nobody has tried because you don't know much, uh, anything of this. The new technology, how you use in the new pedagogy is a big. I think there are a number of possibilities in this, you know, especially when you, you train the students in a very basic lessons. I will share with you the thoughts of Professor Biju on the same experiment. The initial analysis of the acquired data has revealed several possibilities, technical, artistic, as well as pedagogical. The digital mocap data and its derivatives reveal the complexity and intricacy of the category with extreme clarity. Technology can provide a platform for interdisciplinary engagement and dialogue between the classical dance and animators, mathematicians, scientists, and new age artists. This meaningful exchange could make the 500 years old Kathagali even more pertinent in these rapidly changing times. Finally, there is no synonym for classical in Indian language. We use the word Shastriyam means scientific. Kathagali and few other performing art form of India are referred as Shastriya Kalagal, scientific art. Thank you.